Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to see all of you here today. My name is Ksenia. I'm going to be your host for this training session. I'm sure that you already know Self-Named, our one-stop platform for creating clean beauty businesses. And during this presentation, we're going to talk a little bit more about the services that Self-Named provides. And we're also going to talk about Self-Named products. So in this session, and in this uh, in particular self-named skincare academy session, we are diving deep into the performance-based and trend-based skincare. Now, let's talk about the self-named. So you all know what self-name is doing. And uh, at this self-named skincare academy, we are trying to provide you with the knowledge and tools that you might need to develop your skincare businesses. And speaking of the tools, uh, here's a quick reminder about the direct to client uh, service or fulfillment service that uh, we created a month ago. So this D2C fulfillment, fulfillment service is integrated with WooCommerce and Shopify. As I said, it was launched a month ago to provide a complete automation and it ensures a flexible scaling, no minimum orders and no need to keep stocks. It's also easy to start. Additionally, Self-Named offers uh, the packaging design service. You can just provide us with your vision and we will help to develop it. And of course, you don't need to be a design expert at all. We have our own designers and they will help you to create a beautiful packaging that you need for your product. But now let's uh, let me introduce myself a little bit more. So as I said, I'm Xenia. I'm a pharmacist and an experienced uh, skincare trainer. I am training a variety of different brands, helping them to realize the potential of their skincare products. I'm also a lecturer at the Medical University of Riga. I am teaching pharmacy students uh, all of the mysteries and beauty of creating and developing skincare. So my main expertise is natural and organic certified skincare, skincare routines, product formulas, product active ingredients, research and development and production. So those are my key point of expertise. I know how to look deep into the product formulas and how to, how to create an idea of what this product is capable of thanks to the ingredients. But uh, so in this session, as I said, we're going to talk about all of those or specifically about 10 performance based products that uh, self named would like to introduce to you. And but what we're not going to talk about is business side of it or some kind of practical side of it. So I'm going to talk about the products, but I will not be able to answer kind of specific questions about how to order them and what what, what to do about them on the business side. Okay. So let's talk about the performance-based skincare and about trends. So with these few examples uh, of the anti-aging skincare and uh, anti-acne skincare, I just want to give you a glimpse into what, in what is now trending in the industry. If we talk about the anti-aging skincare, then one of the most trendy ingredients are, of course, retinol. I've heard about the retinols for the past 10 years at least, but I also know that retinol has been there on the dermatological scene for at least 100 years already. And retinol is a legendary ingredient because it has multiple skincare benefits. And those skincare benefits actually allow to use retinol and its derivatives and its alternatives basically throughout nearly the entire life. But we're going to talk about it when we actually are on the slide about the retinol serum. So it's just to intrigue you a little bit. But of course, other ingredients that are very trendy and needed for the anti-age skincare are vitamin C, uh, 
alpha-hydroxic acids that provide this peeling effect, peptides, ceramides. So there is a group of different ingredients that help to take care of anti-age uh, or of mature skin. Another group or another example is about the acne prone skin. And here, one of the most trendy and popular ingredients are tea tree oil, alpha hydroxic acids, and salicylic acids. So those three are the most prevalent ones that I've heard that I've heard of. We're also going to talk about them during this presentation. So be intrigued again, but we're also going to talk about the vitamin C, vitamin C and its benefits in multiple skin routines for, uh, for different skin types and different skin concerns. Now, so here, just to summarize, right? So I've just shown you a few examples of what is needed for the maturing skin, what is needed for the acne skin, what is trending. And here's a slide that kind of uh, sums up all of it. So basically the 10, nine or 10, the most trendy ingredients that everyone has to look for, uh, for the businesses and in their skincare routines in the 2023. And you know, what is quite interesting, what is important is that in the skincare industry, a lot of times these legendary ingredients are used, well, they are used, of course, but they are of synthetic origin. It's quite prevalent. But what we at SelfName do is that we are creating formulas with natural ingredients. And all of these ingredients that you see here are natural and are of natural origin. So derived from different sugars or different extracts or different uh, molecules that are of natural origin. And it's quite important for us to create formulas that are powered by nature. So I think that is also one of the most important self-named USPs in general is that we create natural and organic certified products with nature inspired ingredients, including the ones that you see on the screen right now. But if you ask me, why do we know that those exact ingredients are trending? We know it from the research that we did. And here's an example from the Google research that we did just recently. And we saw that if, if, if you compare what people in general, people in the US, EU, UK, and Canada combined have been looking for in terms of ingredient profiles on Google in the last, 12 months, you will see that all of the ingredients that I've mentioned, so hyaluronic acid, retinol, vitamin C, niacinamide, and others are the most trendy ones. So here you can see the most, the most popular, the most searched for ingredients on the internet right now. And of course, all of them are also found in the self-named product formulas. So let's start our product part of this presentation. Now I'm going to tell you about 10 products or 10 product groups that are performance-based and that have those star ingredients that are so much searched for on, on Google and everywhere in the industry right now. And the first one, and of course I see that it's really it's one of the most popular ones in the industry in general worldwide is the retinol. Retinol, as I already said, has been known for its multi-faceted activity for many years now. Retinol is used to treat acne, retinol is used to minimize wrinkles and to minimize age spots. And what is important is that you rarely find an ingredient that has three different benefits at once. So I think that this is something that makes retinol stand out so much. But what I also see is that now in the industry, a lot of skincare producers, including self-named, are trying to search for an alternative to the retinol. And there is a reason for that. You see, although the retinol is very active and very effective, it tends to irritate human skin. It tends to cause dryness, cause irritation, cause redness. And according to some research, up to 90% of people who try to use retinol for a few days in a row might get some of its side effects. 
So what natural skincare producers do is that they're trying to find an alternative that would be firstly of natural origin and secondly, ones that would be without all of those typical side effects of the retinol. And uh, now I see that there are, that there are quite a, a few of alternatives already being discovered, but natural alternatives that is the most popular and the best known in the industry right now is the Bakuchio. So in this natural retinal alternative oil serum, you will find Bakuchiol as a natural alternative to the retinol that works just the same way, but is derived from plants and doesn't cause any irritation or any dryness. And another star ingredient that you will find in this formula is rose hip extract. You see, rose hip is a herb that contains a lot of so called carotenoids. Carotenoids are orange pigments that, when they get into the body, they turn into vitamin A or retinol. So in a way, rose hip and all of those active molecules that you find in rose hip act as this precursor or predecessor of the retinol. So I feel that in this natural retinol alternative oil serum, these two ingredients kind of complement each other. So Bakutriol has the spotlight and the rose hip extract with its carotenoids that can potentially turn into vitamin A kind of complements the Bakutriol so it acts stronger on the skin. What you else uh, find in the formula is a variety of different organic plant oils. For instance, it's evening primrose oil, strawberry seed oil, yoyoba seed oil, raspberry oil, and blueberry oil. So you can see that this formula, it's not only effective because it has this retinol-like ingredient in it that will help to diminish wrinkles, diminish pigment spots, uh, act on acne, but it also has this nourishing formula that will nurture skin and provide skin with essential vitamins and omega fatty acids. So if we talk about the client group, so what could be the target client of this product? I would say that it actually can match a lot of different people of a lot of different needs. So you see, if we talk, if we talk about the age groups, then because retinol can help with problem with problem prone skin, it can be used also when the person is like 16 years old or 18 years old. So basically in those teenage years. But if the person develops pigmentation spots or wrinkles, retinols can be continued. So you can also use it in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, whenever it's needed depending on what concern you or, or, or your client has. But if we talk about the skin types and what, this, what skin types this product is the most suitable for, then because, because of its oiliness, I think it's the most suitable for the people with the dry skin. So people with the dry skin, when, when they apply this oil serum on the skin and massage it into their skin, they will get not only the retinal benefits, but they will also get this nourishing effect and this, in a way, moisturizing and smoothening effect that those nurturing oil provide. But of course, yes, oils are the most suitable for dry skin, but I feel that this product can also benefit people with combination and with oily skin. And here I will give you a tip and trick. So if a person or if a client has an oily skin, you can suggest to that person to mix a few drops of this oil serum with a gel moisturizer or with a moisturizing jelly. I know that Self-Named has a uh, double hydration boost gel and also niacinamide gel that are moisturizers, oil-free, totally like they have this oil-free, really lightweight textures. And you can mix a few drops with those products to create the still very lightweight and really silky texture of the product that will blend beautifully with combination and oily skins. So this is my tip and trick for you if you want to consult clients with oily or combination skin about how to use this product for them. Speaking about the benefits, I already told you that this product has all of the free 
benefits that retinol does and also the nourishing effect of the oils that, uh, that create the base of this product. The next product is Botox-like peptide serum. You see, peptides, again, are very trendy, especially in the natural skincare, because they act as a natural alternative, natural and vegan alternative to the conventional collagen. Some years ago, let's say 10 or 15 years ago, it was quite prevalent to formulate skincare products with conventional collagen that was derived from skin and bones of dead animals. And you see, of course, for some people, it might be, you know, ju just nothing. They would use it no matter what. But for people who care about ethics, who want vegan products, it's an issue. So in the natural skincare, I see a trend for using peptides. Peptides act as building blocks of collagen in human skin. Collagen is a protein that makes up up to 85% of the skin volume. So young people normally have a lot of collagen in their skin, and it makes that skin feel so smooth and tight and plump. But after the person turns around 25 or 30 years old, this collagen starts to drop in its concentration. And when collagen drops, the wrinkles start to appear. So solution for that maturing skin would be used using skincare with peptides that will help to build up that collagen back so that the skin appears a little bit plumper again, so there are less wrinkles. And now if we talk about this botox like peptide serum. So this is exact solution for people who are losing that skin elasticity and who want to preserve skin plumpness. If we talk about the key ingredients in this formula or in this product, Firstly, it's the hydroxyproline. Hydroxyproline is amino acid that helps to build up collagen in skin. Another star ingredient that I would like to underline are the peptides. Those peptides are of natural and vegan origin and they also will help to build up the collagen. And the final star ingredient is the phytosterol. Phytosterols are derived from certain tropic herbs and when applied on the skin, phytosterols help to thicken skin epidermis. So they help to they help skin to become thicker and in that way also to smoothen it out and become a help it to become more resilient against aging processes. So basically in this botox like peptide serum, you have three different ingredients that help to boost the production of collagen in skin and also help to create this improved skin elasticity. If we talk about other, other ingredients that are there, then of course you have moisturizing ingredients and also plant oils that provide skin with this nourishing effect. So if you talk about the target audiences of these products, then again, you can suggest it to younger people, let's say to people who are 25 or 30, who still have quite elastic and plump skin, but who care to preserve that plumpness for longer. So one target audience are young adults. And another target audience are, of course, people with mature skin who have wrinkles. You can provide this product to them and suggest using it because this product also will help them preserve their skin in a better condition. And it also will help to smoothen out some wrinkles that are appearing on their skin. If we talk about the skin types, and I feel that this product is, again, most suitable for normal or maybe dry skin. But again, I feel that if a person with combination oily skin appears, then that person also can try that serum. It might, it might feel a little bit oily, but that's okay, because I think that those benefits actually outweigh the fact that it's not an oil-free formulation. The next serum that I would like to talk about is the vitamin C serum. And as already, uh, as you have already seen on the trend slides, vitamin C is one of the most trendy 
ingredients out there in, in the industry. And you see, vitamin C is quite a potent skin radiance booster. Vitamin C helps to enliven dull and tired looking skin. And at the same time, vitamin C is a great helper against photo aging. So basically, vitamin C is an active ingredient that helps to minimize those negative and uh, pro-aging effects that the sun creates in our skin. And if we talk about the vitamin C in this particular product, here we use a stable form of vitamin C. In particular, it's called not ascorbic acid, but ascorbyl glucoside. So ascorbic glucoside is a stable form of vitamin C. And if we talk about the benefits of the stable form, then firstly, it is stable against degradations that is caused by the light or air. So with this stable form, we can ensure that this vitamin C will be there in that formula and that it will work. Uh, the problem with the unstable form is that it slowly degrades in the formula and that after some months, it might be less than it was in the beginning. But with the stable forms, you're always sure that they are there and they work. Another benefit is the stable form has a great penetration ability. So stable forms are much better at penetrating human skin and uh, getting into the cells to, to provide this antioxidant effect that helps to defy aging processes in skin. Yes, yeah, so those basically are the two the most important benefits that I would like to say. Firstly, it penetrates the skin, it works, and it's stable to any kind of oxidation. Therefore, it will also stay longer in the formula. But if we talk about other star ingredients that are here in this formula, then it's ferulic acid and sea buckthorn oil. So, and also vitamin E. Okay, so let's talk about the ferulic acid and vitamin E. From the research, we know that when combined vitamin C, ferulic acid, and vitamin E work eight times stronger or more effective than each of those ingredients separately. So basically in this formula, you get a triple or a triple combination of antioxidant ingredients that will help to defy photoaging in skin. And therefore they will help to prevent appearance of dark spots, appearance of wrinkles, and they will overall help to create this look of the healthy radiant skin. Other ingredients that I see over here is you see back for an oil. It's a great Nordic ingredient that helps to regenerate skin and that helps to boost skin renewal processes. And then I also see a variety of oils. So yoba seed oil, almond oil, avocado oil, rosehip seed oils are also great plant-based nurturing ingredients that are extra beneficial for people with dry skin, but also other skin types will benefit from it. And finally, sodium PCA and hyaluronic acid. Sodium PCA and hyaluronic acid are one of the most prevalent and most effective moisturizing ingredients. So if you see them in the formula, you can be sure that this product is moisturizing. And therefore, it will help to keep skin at this optimal hydration level. Now, if we talk about the benefits, let's look at them. So I already said that vitamin C will help to defy photoaging in skin. So with this product, you, will, you can target dark spots. Then this product is with moisturizing formula. So it also will moisturize skin. And finally, because of those plant, plant oils, it will also provide skin with essential vitamins and omega fatty acids. So you have like this multi-benefit formula. If we talk about how to use it the best way, so you might have already heard that serums are the skincare products that have the highest concentration of active ingredients. The concentration of active ingredients is normally higher than in the moisturizers. And if we talk about the steps, how to use this serums and vitamin C serum in particular, you apply it on the clean skin at first, and then you 
Top it with a moisturizer, any type of moisturizer. It can be a gel-like moisturizer. It can be a, a specific type of moisturizer with other active ingredients, but still, at first comes a serum and then on top comes the moisturizing cream. What I also would like to advise you with is that when you talk to your clients, suggest using vitamin C serum with a sunscreen or sun cream. And there's the reason. Vitamin C works best when combined with a sunscreen. They work like best friends who kind of complement each other in a way. I have heard that many people tend to be afraid of photosensitivity that vitamin C causes. I have to ensure you that with the, with the stable vitamin C forms that is used in the serum, you don't get any of that photosensitivity. But if you combine this vitamin C serum with the sunscreen, you will get this double protection effect. So just imagine you apply a vitamin C serum at first and it already acts as antioxidants that helps to neutralize the negative effect of the sun in skin. But if you top it with the sunscreen that you get this full protection. So basically if the sun radiation goes through the sunscreen as it, some, as it normally does a little bit to some extent, you still get this vitamin C that kind of you know, guards the skin in a way. Of course, this, this couple of, of products, vitamin C serum and sunscreen, it's not perfect. You know, you still have to reapply sunscreen. You still have to use a sunscreen that have SPF 50 in it on the daily basis and especially in summer. But at least you have this kind of double benefits from the vitamin C and from the sunscreen. So here is kind of, if you're now thinking about how to create sets with your products, you can really just think, aha, I can create a set with vitamin C serum and a sunscreen as a great combination. And I can advise it to clients who have skin prone to hyperpigmentation, for instance, in the summer season. Or you can also uh, always suggest such products to people who are cheating a little bit when uh, applying sunscreen. So for instance, they don't reapply it as frequently as needed or they don't use sunscreen at all. So you see vitamin C is kind of a great product to integrate in your autumn skincare routine to help skin rest and regenerate after the sunny season, especially when a person kind of didn't want to use sunscreen for some reason. Well, it's, it's always better to use sunscreens, but there are people who don't like it. So at least suggest them to use vitamin C in the autumn season so that they kind of just try to regenerate their skin and keep it plumper and more youthful for a longer time. Okay, the next product is a peeling concentrate. And here we talk about the trends in the industries and we see that liquid formulas are the most popular ones. And with this peeling concentrate, we wanted to create a liquid product that would have a quite high and effective concentration of the lactic acid that provides this exfoliation, exfoliating activity, but at the same time, that would be very easy to use. You see, with this peeling concentrate, you just need to use it at nighttime before going to bed. So you apply it on the clean skin, you leave it and that's it. And you go to sleep. You don't have to wait until you can rinse it off. You can just safely apply it on the skin and go to sleep and rinse it off the next morning with your normal cleanser, just in your, for your, all of your normal steps, how you take care of your skin in the morning. And we talk about the active ingredient profile in the spilling concentrate that at first we have this 10% lactic acid, it's a lactic acid of natural origin, and it will create this moderate exfoliating activity to skin. So with this product, you will help your clients to reduce pigmentation spots, to reduce deeper wrinkles. And also in case if a person has a rough skin, this product will also help to, you know, kind of peel off those dead skin cells so that the skin appears beautiful and smooth the next morning. Another very important ingredient here is a high concentration of hyaluronic acid. So basically, when combine lactic acid and hyaluronic acid, you get a peeling that it's not only an exfoliator, but it also has moisturizing benefits. I have used this peeling myself, and the next morning, the skin is just 
extra smooth. It's so beautiful. It's ready and it's very, very soft. So I certainly recommend it to people who just sometimes want to kind of refresh the texture of the skin to get rid of the things that they don't like or they don't want there and who want to create to to get this beautiful radiant and smooth skin if we talk about the skincare routines then peeling concentrate has to be used like once or twice a week so it's not an everyday product you use it once or twice in the evenings and the next morning you have to use sunscreen the best if you use spf 50 but if you don't want SPF 50, you can use SPF 30. But this SPF 30 is kind of the minimum that you use. And the reason for that is that peeling concentrates or any peeling masks, they make skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun in the next day. So suggest your clients using SPF 30 or 50 the next day and they're going to be safe. If we talk about other ingredients that are here, it's a sage extract and white tea extract. And those are just great nurturing antioxidant, antioxidant plants that will just provide some extra antioxidant benefits to the human skin. If we talk about the target audience of this product, then those can be basically, again, youngsters starting with maybe age 16 or 18, and then adults to you know, age infinity, let's say. Uh, I think that each person can find a benefit uh, in this product that will be useful for any type of person. Acne spot care. So this is an acne, or this is an active serum that will target acne. And in this serum, you will find salicylic acid and tea tree oil. Those ingredients are great to unclog pores. And what you also have here is a white clay that will help to, and also kaolin, so white clay and charcoal powder. So those will help to draw out impurities from those clogged pores. And therefore, in the end, the person, when using that acne spot care regularly on those problematic areas, will just get a more clearer complexion. But I also see here that this formula is moisturizing and it has a few of very nice plants. So rose myrt myrtle extract is known for its skin balancing activity. So rose myrtle helps to balance skin so it's not that oily, not that greasy, you know, more balanced. And gooseberry and blueberry extracts are extracts of Nordic berries that provide skin with vitamins. So again, in this product, you have a lot of different, very nice ingredients that will help to target acne, target clogged pores, moisturize skin, and will also help to balance it out with the vitamins and with other active small, tiny mole molecules from herbs and uh, berries, just to, you know, for additional radiance. I would recommend this product mostly to people with problem prone skin, acne, or sorry, for oily and problem prone skin, but also in case if a person just all of a sudden has some type of breakout, then again, just, just, just apply it on the pimple and you're good to go and then apply some kind of moisturizer on top. Niacinamide. So niacinamide is very well known in the industry as this skin normalizer, I would say. So niacinamide can be used for all types of purposes. It's a moisturizing ingredient. It helps to even out skin tone. It helps to moisturize skin. So there is a lot of activity going on over here. And I would certainly suggest it to people who, again, have uneven skin tone with dark spots, who perhaps have dehydrated skin, maybe also to people with a problem prone skin. Yeah, so also can be used like that. And this niacinamide gel moisturizer can be used in a combination with the retinol serum. It can be also used with the vitamin, uh -huh. so if you want to kind of increase this anti-aging activity in a way and also normalize skin, use it in combination with the retinol serum. If you want to complement the activity of the vitamin C serum, then you can add niacinamide, so vitamin C serum. I hope you see that my logic, but still like, I'm just trying to show you that all of the self-named products, they can be used in certain sets 
as couples. So niacinamide goes beautifully with the retinol alternative and with the vitamin C, as far as I see here. And of course, it also can be topped with the sunscreen just to uh, extra protect skin from the negative, negative effects of the sun. Double hydration boost gel. So this is a perfect solution for people with dehydrated skin. I know that nearly everyone, especially in the autumn and winter season, gets dehydrated skin because of the wind, because of the cold, because of the heating systems. And I think that at one point or another, any person can use this double hydration boost gel just to, you know, rehydrate the skin to uh, diminish the thirst that the skin might have. And in this formula, you firstly have a moisturizing base. So there is aloe leaf juice as a base of the product. Then you have, as I said, one of the most effective moisturizing ingredients, such as sodium PCA and hyaluronic acid that will boost those moisture levels. And you also have the antioxidant herbs of sage and white tea that will provide antioxidant uh, protection to skin. So again, beautiful formula. You get this double combination of sodium PCA and hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, plus the moisturizing base. This is just perfect. <laughs> Anyone can use it, no matter the skin type. This, this product can be used for dry skin, for normal skin, for oily skin, for whatever type of skin. And as I said, so at first you can use any type of serum and then you can use this gel on top. If you've used and oil instead of a serum, then you can mix a few drops of an oil with this gel again to create this beautiful silky texture that will blend with the skin beautifully. So again, you can play with this product in so many ways. Sunscreen. Self-named offers the sunscreen with SPF 30 protection and tinted coverage. It is based on the zinc oxide, so on the mineral sunscreen filters that will work as a shield that will kind of just shield the skin from the negative effect of the sun. And what I also see here is that this sunscreen comes with a moisturizing and a beautiful nurturing formula that is infused with the raspberry seed oil and seed buckthorn. So again, beautiful benefits that come with the sunscreen and also the tinted coverage. I think the tinted coverage is quite an extra benefit when we talk about the natural certified sunscreens because mm, those natural certified sunscreens that are formulated with zinc oxide, zinc oxide sometimes tend to leave a white cast on skin, but if the texture is tinted, then it blends beautifully with the complexion. This can be used throughout the entire year, every day, but especially in the summer season when it's hot and when the sun is active. And as I said, you can just pair it with the vitamin C serum, or you can use it with the niacinamide. It first comes, so it first comes or serum or a moisturizer, and then comes the sunscreen on top. This one, as all of the sunscreens in the world have to be reapplied, I would say every two or three hours, maybe four, but especially after sweating, swimming, or rubbing the skin. So it has to be reapplied just to be extra sure. So then what we also have is a sensitive skin face and body cleanser. This product has been dermatologically tested to suit the sensitive skin of face and body. You see that this product is formulated with soothing plants. So linden flowers and jasmine flowers are known as soothing plants and also plum fruit extract. So this one is a more nurturing one. So this formula, you will not only get skin cleansed, but it also has a soothing ingredient. So in the end, the skin is cleansed, but at the same time, none of its natural oils, none of its natural protection is taken away from it. So again, can be used on a daily basis as normal cleanser for face, body, or hands. Nice formula, again. Boosters. I actually love boosters because those help to personalize any type of routine. You see here on the self-named assortment, you have antioxidant booster, caffeine booster, and CBD oil booster. So antioxidant booster will help to decrease the oxidative stress in skin that leads to aging processes. And when you use antioxidant booster in your skincare routines that you could just help to make your skin more resilient against the negative and age, 
aging uh, provoking effects of the environment. With the caffeine gel booster, ha, huh, you can use it in the mornings when blending with the eye creams or face creams or body creams. You can use it before evening effects, evening events to appear more, again, like more awake, maybe more fresh. But you can also use it the next morning after crazy parties, uh, after not getting enough of sleep, just to, you know, again, help your skin to wake up faster and decrease dark circles uh, around the eyes. CBD oil booster, on the other hand, is a great ingredient that helps to calm skin and also balance problem from skin. So again, you see that you can mix a few drops of any of those uh, concentrates with any type of serum or any type of any type of cream to personalize uh, the that product formula and also uh, to to provide kind of extra benefits to 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 the product and to the skincare routine. Uh, if you talk about the packaging, so on the slide, you see three types of packaging, uh, three types of bottles in two different colors. Uh, I just want to ensure you that each of those boosters come in those three options. So if you go to the self name website, you can order any of these boosters in, in any of those three different packaging options. Now, I've just talked about 10 products on 10 performance-based and very trendy products that self-named created for you and for your clients. But what if we talk about the upcoming products and about the upcoming plans? So here on the slide, you can see the list of the products that are now in the creation. And in the, so in the nearest future, self-named is going to focus on the hair care, face care and body care. All of the products, again, are going to be trend-based and uh, performance-based, having beautiful formulations. So I'm intrigued. Hopefully you are also intrigued and uh, we're probably going to meet during the next session, uh, next training session to talk about those products. Now, the quick Q&A, I see that you have uh, sent in some questions. At first, I will answer the questions that I see on the slide, but also then I will go into the chat and we are going to talk about so what, what concerns you in there. So I see the question. So could you specify what type of fragrances are used in your skincare products? Well, we use natural fragrances. So in our fragrance formulations, you will only meet natural uh, ingredients or ingredients of natural origin. We use different essential oils, essential oil isolates and fragrant herbal extracts. Therefore, you never have to be concerned about whether this fragrance or synthetic or anything. It's always natural. It always comes from the natural ingredients. To what extent are skincare products tested? So, all of the ingredients that we use are previously tested by the ingredient suppliers. So they normally send us information about each ingredient efficacy. And based on that, we know how this product can work. Uh, in the, I'm, I'm not sure like in, in, in how many months, let's say, but I know that in the nearest future, self-named is going to test all of the uh, products that are there on the assortment at the moment, dermatologically tested. There are a few dermatologically tested ones. So one is for the sensitive skin. And also I certainly know that the retinol has been tested uh, to suit to suit skin, just to, to be sure that it doesn't cause any irritation. But all of the rest of the assortment is also going to be dermatologically tested in the nearest future. Do you also offer fragrance-free options? Yes, from the products that I have shown you, the fragrance-free is a high peeling serum. And the last one on the slide, on average, how long does it typically take for the skincare products to show results? Well, with the peeling serum, it's very fast. Uh, as I said, the next morning you already see that your, your skin is smoother, but if we talk about those more specific concerns, such as uh, reduce a reduction of wrinkles or reduction of pigmentation spots, that skin needs at least four weeks to transform for a certain extent. So normally, normally a person has to use products for at least four or five weeks. 
and it's connected with the regeneration process in the skin because skin cells take up to four or five weeks to regenerate themselves and to you know transform in a way or like to take some changes so with this product it just goes like that if you want to see kind of how those pigmentation spots or anything else kind of gets better you need to wait for four or five uh, for four or five weeks at least okay and now i will go into the chat i see that there's there have to be some hot discussions going on so let's see okay so the first one can we make these claims on the packaging and or online shop well you probably have to be so all of the information i said it's legit, but still there could be some limitations uh, to, to what you can write on the packaging and it's connected with the cosmetic regulars and certain quality standards and everything. So the safest way normally is to say that this product helps to do something, but uh, I would really recommend you to at first like make your product design, you see, like provide us with the text that you would like to write and then our quality department will go through this and see what exactly you can write. Like at the moment, uh, uh, as I don't know what exactly you want to write, like what kind of for, for formulation or what kind of sentence I cannot uh, say for 100% uh, whether it's like, whether it can be placed on the uh, product packaging or not. 